traveled with us to mark the 150th anniversary of Dmitry Mendeleev's publication of the periodic table. Data visualization embodies our theme today, which is complex ideas in clear focus. How to decrease the effort it takes for our audience to understand something. And that's the first superpower of design. It's basically creating hierarchies. But this is the holy grail up there. Like, that's where you want to go, right? How do we achieve that? Well, as a designer, there's only one answer for me, which is design. In particle physics, this is our periodic table. This is all the different particles that make up everything in the universe. There's 95% of the universe that we don't know about. What are the other pieces? And that's what we're trying to figure out now at home. Do not um, mask your data quality for aesthetics, uh, aesthetical reasons. If there are issues with the data, then make sure the audience or the users of your visualization are aware of what the issues are. Let the data tell its own story. So it's impossible in the lab to really map the entire chemical space. This is a huge number, and that's where the computer comes in. You also need to use algorithms to structure and classify and visualize all this uh, possibility. So this is what I call conventional true visualization. We compute this kind of chemical reaction, and then we find a way to visualize it to understand better what's the role of this kind of particle. My teachers at school knew that I was really interested in science and I was really interested in music, but no one ever made me choose between them. Communicating science, it's not just about information, it's about inspiring curiosity, and it's about creating an emotional connection. And this song, I think, does all of those things. Antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium.